Hey, what's up, guys? This is Scott from Snipe 5 here reviewing a very popular shoe these days, and that is the Sperry Topsider Classic Boat Shoe. So, the one I have here is the authentic original what Sperry came out with first. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, just maybe people excited about getting their first pair or just talking briefly why they like it, why they hate it, but I've never seen any video reviewing these actually in great depth. So, here you go. I do have very small feet, so these are technically the children's sizing, so there might be a slight variation with the adult size, but the one I do have here is Sahara, and the color is pretty universal across a lot of shoes, For just for reference. So just giving a quick tour around this shoe, it has the Spirit logo right here on the outside. With the classic boat shoe look, it has the laces wrapped around the heel, and that is also made out of leather. That is going through four metal eyelets, which is very typical of a boat shoe. These do, however, tend to get untied, so I would recommend double lacing these. Holding together this new buck leather boat shoe is a mock toe stitching, and as you can see, it gives that very clean, classy boat shoe look to it. Then on the bottom is this very grippy sole with a zigzag siphoning pattern for good grip on both wet and dry surfaces. The sole is very flexible which means the heel to toe transition is very smooth but it also is very thin so you can feel really everything that's under your feet which is a characteristic of boat shoes since on a boat you want to be able to have a good grip and be very comfortable on your feet. But that also means that there's not very much cushioning and so it definitely gets a little bit tiresome when you walk in these for long distances. The inside is undoctorated leather, so it's still very comfortable. The insole, however, is, doesn't offer very much cushion, at least for the kids model anyway, which is why the kids model is slightly cheaper than the adult model, but I don't think there's really too much of a variation between comfortability between the two. So these are technically dress shoes, so they are in dress shoe sizing, so whatever size you wear for dress shoes, you should fit fine for these. If you do want to go a half size smaller, you can because leather does tend to stretch out over time. So if you really want to be on the safe size and you tend to be in between, si between sizes, then I would go with the half size lower. The typically accepted way to wear both shoes is either completely barefoot or with socks or liners that are not visible. So that's usually what I do and I think it's the nicer way to go because you get the look of wearing the boat shoes but you don't have to worry about getting your sweaty feet embedded into the boat shoe. I'll be doing a separate video on the particular boat liner socks that I use so subscribe to my channel to see that video when it comes out. Now what clothes do you wear these with? I have seen people pair these with pretty much everything, but what I've seen that looks good and what's generally accepted is that these are some very more on the casual side dress shoes. So they go perfectly fine with khakis and something that's more business casual, but they definitely do not go with something that's full on business such as a suit, skirts, dresses, so they do look perfectly fine with jeans, though they kind of look a little awkward with certain types of jeans. And they look fine with casual shorts, not so much athletic types, but why would you be wearing these with athletic gear anyway? Since these are leather shoes, they will get dirty eventually, and it will show. As you can see, I've got a little bit here on the toe. But there are definitely a lot of products that you can use to clean them. Maybe I'll make a separate video for that if you guys are interested. But for now, I think that generally dirt, especially with the Sahara color, doesn't make it look terrible. So I'm kind of holding off on doing a full clean on this so far. Okay, so my final thoughts and verdict on this Sperry Topsider Authentic Original Boat Shoe in the Sahara color. There is definitely a reason why people really like these. From what I've heard is what they say is it's the most comfortable shoe they ever wear. It looks good, it's stylish, etc. For me, I'm coming from somebody who likes to wear tennis shoes a lot because they're comfortable, they're versatile, and you know, I can wear them all day long. And so switching from that to here and I speak in comparison for comfortability, I would still say obviously sneakers are way more comfortable. They offer cushion that this thing does not. 
What I do really like about these is that they're very flexible. Like I said, the heel to toe transition is really smooth. And it's just, it wraps around your feet if you get it in the proper size. And the sole is very grippy, which I really appreciate. But again, if you're walking in these a lot, I wouldn't say they're that comfortable. But I guess they are more on the comfortable side when it comes to dress shoes. And then I can't really comment on style, that is a personal preference. But for most people, when they're considering buying shoes, and especially if you're watching this review in the first place, is the price. So, for a kid's size, it is about $60. Adults, I believe it may be $20 to $40 more. But I managed to pick these up for <laughs> under $30, which is why I bothered picking these up so late in the first place. So if you can get them at a great value, then sure, go ahead and pick these up. If not, then you have to weigh in the pros and cons to it. And also, they do have different versions of their boat shoes. They have plenty of other ones that have a little bit more cushion in the sole, so you can feel free to browse through their selection before deciding. But this one is the typical classic shoe that most people would associate with a Sperry Topsider. So that will conclude this review video. I hope you found it helpful. As usual, please give it a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel, Sky for 95 for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.